Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins. Code. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, before we get started, let's do that thing that we do. Where we go, fade, 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 and announce the winners of the finish competition for day four. Uh, no, no, day two, week four of the Robux gift card giveaways. Oh. <clears throat> All these gift gift cards we still have uh all these to give away if you'd like to sign up for that competition check out the link in the description down below congratulations to brayden l brayden l you are the winner of that ten dollar robux gift card free robux cards given away um up until friday um well saturday technically so that's the last day all right so if you haven't signed up for them you got three more no uh, two 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 more you have two more so uh, the competition that is going on right now, the one that just launched, is this one. Go sign up. All you have to do is follow on YouTube. No, no, no. You have to su subscribe on YouTube. And then follow on Mixer, follow on Twitch, and follow on Twitter. There you go. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Need to calm down by drinking some coffee. Fade, 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 fade. There we go. Mm. Ah, okay. I feel better. Sorry, I was getting a little out of hand and crazy and, and like a normal YouTuber on that one. That was weird. Okay, so I've kind of over-engineered the catapult, but that's not the point of today's video. Um, if you don't see here, I have a little wedge that like pushes out a little bit, so it adds additional force to it. And then I also put this little wedge thingy here so it like does a thing. And let's just say it works really well now. So I'll just demo this real quick, the catapult. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go check out yesterday's. Here it goes with zero lag and boom. <laughs> uh, a lot of you suggested to throw TNT on there. And great idea, but the problem with the TNT is um, even if you light it and set it off and launch it into somebody's base, it won't go off. It can't go off. It's programmed not to go off near other properties, not other people's properties. So, won't work like you're thinking it will. Um, if you're launching it at trees or something like that, yeah, that would work pretty well. Um, anyhow, I've let this server cook off for about two day cycles, and that should be enough time to at least see a spook tree some kind and that's that's what I wanted to do I wanted to go run through here check out see if we can find a little bitty spook tree of some kind or maybe some sinister wood we don't know but that's what this is gonna be as I'm gonna run through it real quick if we can't find anything then I might run over to the maze and do like a maze run or something like that who knows tonight's video is brought to you in part by ADHD attention deficit hyper disorder Helping kids with, like me, become YouTubers. Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, I mean all those guys, they've, they've got it too, so. <clears throat> I seem to be a little bit more calm than those guys are though. But I do embrace my ADHD-ness. Uh, and that also goes for like, wait a second. Is that it? Hold on. <clears throat> I don't think that was it, but I gotta go check it out. Did you guys see it? I think I think I saw it. No, that's not. That's just a regular old oak tree growing out there. Little oak. Hi, Mr. Oak Tree. <laughs> you fooled us. Thought you were a spook tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I didn't check the other side. Darn it. Can I see the tops of the mountains here? A lot of you put timestamps in the last video saying that you'd seen it, and I went and verified every single one of those, those timestamps, and what you were seeing was not spook trees. It was shadows. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Who was that? Who was that amazing person? Hello. Prelis Panther. Thank you for following on Twitch. Okay. 
we're gonna go back this direction and backwards skills um, somebody said the land bridge is fixed yes I know I, I did a video on it um, the problem is I would have to spend money on getting TNT and then going up the same path that I'm going to go anyway and it's just easier just to fly with the car or not fly with the car but like run through the car I should probably turn back around the correct way to go up the volcano in fact I'm gonna do that now there we go here we go Oh, volcano time. Do, 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 do. Oh, goodness. A lot of you are, like, really scared for me going up this thing. I'm like, it's only scary because there's, like, these big boulders. But if you think of the boulders as, like, only touching a single path, I mean, you can avoid those things pretty easy. It's just the scariness that, oh, there's boulders. Like, it's it's really not that scary. I promise. Kind of freaks me out whenever I do get hit and fall into the volcano, though. They pack quite a punch. Oh, what, well, what? Well, nope. I'm not saying it. Uh, at one point, I thought that the um, spook trees did not gin in private servers. Is that still not the case? If you have been inside a private server and have gotten a spook tree, I would love to see screenshots of it. Send it to at code primate on Twitter. At code primate. Whoa. And I also thought about something. I go backwards off everything else except this one ramp over here. Whoa, that was not... That's why I don't go off backwards on that one ramp right there. <clears throat> well, <laughs> looks like we're we're going to be resetting. All right, let's go down. Go down right here. And go down right here. The only reason I'm going down is because I've got axes on me. Like a silly code. Escape, reset. Yep, done. It's a good thing I can't drop my blueprints. Oof. Ooh, defaultio. Capitalism idea. Dropping blueprints when you die. Joking. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, um, also, a lot of you put um, in the comments, comments. You put in the comments. No, you put in the comments. Why doesn't he have a flip button on the bottom of the truck? Um, because it's non-realistic. And for everything Defaultio does inside Lumber Tycoon 2, it's supposed to have a realistic possibility. Except for special, like, end times and stuff like that. But like giving an eyeball to open up a secret hatch and stuff like that. That's it's very much a possibility, but far-fetched so flipping a car with a button on the bottom uh, how many cars do you know in real life that have that button that's why which is also why he uh, was a little concerned about planking wood because when you put wood through the wood sawmill thingy and you change sizes yeah how does like a short thick piece of wood become long narrow piece of wood like, it, it, the physics behind it doesn't actually work. And he was upset by that. Because it's not real. But, could you imagine if you had to keep everything the same shape that you cut it in? So, like, the logs that you cut were the same shape as the planks that came out? Whoa. By the way, if you look down here, we can tell that the, um, the painting has not been gotten so if you're on public servers and you come down this back way, you can look right down here and you can see the top of the uh, the painting area, the Shrine of Sight. <laughs> this is the painting area. This is where we do our finger paints. Just kidding. All right, there we go. Finger painting's awesome. Zoop. Zoop. Whoa, what in the world? Better yet, what in the world? What was that? Okay, that's nothing. 
That's not why. Why did you flip your car code? Because it wanted to flip. It was having a flip day. Ah. Uh, meh. Meh. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can push this. Can I push this on my own? I don't know that I can push this on my own. Hold on. Do -do -do -do. Wait, I, I don't want it in my backpack. I want yeah. What are you doing? Stop it. Man, this is just turning out to be a non-productive video. It is moving, however slow. Slowly but surely. It is moving, but don't call me Shirley. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Wee. And wee. Somebody said to just walk into the truck and it'll start to move. It's not moving, dude. It doesn't. It does not move for me. Okay. Well. Hmm. And that's too tall, it's not even touching my head. Hello. What if I just keep jumping? Just jump, just jump like crazy. Oh, flop. Okay. Bite the bullet code. Go back. Get a car. Go back the other direction. A lot of you are probably putting in the comments, Code! You could have just walked through it by now. It's true. Um, how far along are we? We're only 12 minutes in. That's not bad. Oh, is that a spook tree? No, that's a dead tree. Wee. And a wee. Okay, escape. Reset. Yep. Although, it does have a lot more branches than a normal tree. It's not Spookwood code. You're wanting Spookwood so bad that that's, that's what you're envisioning. That's what you're seeing now. Oh. It's true. It's just an oak tree with no leaves. <laughs> I may go into a public server tonight and go try to find um, some Spookwood, but... It has been a very long day, and huge shout out to all the new followers and new new subscribers. Oh my gosh, you guys. You are amazing. Like, there are so many new people. I was, I was surprised. I hope I didn't overwhelm you yesterday with all the, the stuff, the, the videos. There was like four videos in there. What was this there? No, three, there was three videos. Thank you so much, uh... Poke Digger One. Thank you for subscribing. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was just talking about the subscribers. It's been non-stop all day. Like, we are... Ugh. Hold on, I had this in here a second ago. Um... As of right now, today... There are, come here, ugh, 229 new subscribers. And we've not even hit the end of the day yet. Like, ugh, what? 229 in a day. And that's been like constant. So many subscribers. By the way, don't, don't be afraid of the boulders. Okay, there's so many more things in this world, in this game, that you could be afraid of. And, somebody said, um, their base was being exploited and their, their items turned invisible. Um, as far as exploiters go, um, just go, go to another server and reload in. If you have invisible items, most likely it's caused by lag. Uh, I showed not four days ago there was a um, bug whenever I went to go get the painting and it showed whoa 
it showed um, the floor being invisible inside the the showroom floor. So, oh, open that back up. Open. There we go. All right. I hope this works. That does not work. That does not work. That does not work. Code. Seriously? Okay. I'm thinking about just stopping this episode and starting over because that that is horrible. You know, no. You know what? I'm not starting it over. I am showing you exactly what happens. The pains that you have to go through in this game. The pains of everyday gaming. There you go. The boringness of it. And I shouldn't I shouldn't say that because it's not it's not boring. This to me is still it's still really fun. <laughs> Basically just getting to hang out inside a game. Forgetting about today's worries. Forgetting about like life is hard. For an adult, life is hard. And I feel sorry for most adults because they don't have the forgetful bliss that I have. Um, and for the most part, like parents and grown-ups, we get lost and we have questions just like you guys do all the time. Don't think that we have it all together 100% of the time. It's okay. But, you know, it's when it's when you don't have the answers that you get to explore and find the answers to the things that you're looking for. Hello, boulder. Hi, boulder. <gasps> Does the boulder glow? The boulder is glowing like a reddish color. Go, boulder. Go, go, bold boulder. Come on, get enough momentum. There you go, buddy. Playing with the boulder, boulder. It does have a light. It's got a red light to it. That is awesome. I never noticed that the boulders had lights. It's so you can see them in the dark coming at you. <laughs> in case it was, you know, not bright enough inside the volcano. Does it add torch boulders? You know, and I was just discussing, like, the realism of of the game and how Defaulty likes realism. But then, you've got these 20-foot boulders, or 20-unit high boulders, coming at you. Like Indiana Jones. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know where he's going with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. No more driving off backwards down that bottom part. We're just going to go this direction. We're going to hope for the best. Just do our normal thing and just drive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up in the corner fast as we can. Get a nice angle. Oh, oh, no. What in the world? That is not what we wanted. Oh. Failure, failure, failure. I cannot believe I failed this many times in an episode. <sighs> oh, Code, what time is it for you? Um, yeah, we're 19 minutes. We've got 10 minutes left. Ugh. Reset. Just reset, Code. It's no point. <sighs> Alright. So, 20 minutes. <laughs> no success yet. No spook tree in sight whatsoever. Ah, what a what a good day. It's Thursday for you guys. Wednesday for me, and my Wednesday was not. Well, it was not an easy Wednesday. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have a full time job. I do work. I have a family, wife, kids. Um, full time job. Full time programmer. I do um, videos for YouTube. I play video games on the side. And yeah, I get about three hours at nighttime to actually sit down and play. 
which you know it's not it's not really play anymore it's it is work it is definitely work and anybody that's thinking about going into YouTube thinking oh YouTube's gonna be so easy I promise you whoa stop I promise you it is it is probably one of the hardest jobs most fun job don't get me wrong it is so much fun but it is the hardest job to do this every day and that that goes for big people too like ninja okay I, t I refer to ninja every once in a while because he's in the, the one that's in the spotlight at the moment um, for future generations that are watching this video 10 20 30 years from now ninja was the top for top uh, Fortnite player of 2018 2017 2018 maybe 2019 we don't know how good he's gonna be here in a year but my point is he took a break for two days to go to like TwitchCon or to some Fortnite con he took a break for two days and lost 40,000 subscribers because of it two days off in any other job would never cost you what it cost him like that is that is huge so you guys you guys are really generous generous because um, I tell you if, like I need a day off and stuff like that and you guys tell me all the time you're like you're good code you entertain us all the time it is it is so different like my boss at work has been really really generous and really kind especially through everything that my wife's been going through everything that I've been going through just with um, life in general and I feel very blessed to have have the job that I have I mean of course you know I still joke with him like when you're gonna fire me so I can do YouTube full-time but that's you know I'd still it's just a joke because the job that I work at, I get to play with computers and technology all day long. So, it, again, doesn't really feel like a job. Oh, come on, please, please. No, we did this yesterday. What is your... Rah, 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 rah. Did, no, and that just... Nah. Mm. And that's me raging. <laughs> I'm very blessed about the job that I've got. Very blessed about where I'm at in life and just in general, I'm overall good. So even when I have a rough day like Wednesday where everybody is calling about everything and no one seems to be independent. Like it, it was like nobody had ever heard of what Google is today. Like calling me for the silliest things. I'm like, you do know that that's not IT related, right? Figuring out how to add an extra cell into your Excel spreadsheet when you're supposed to be the expert person doing it is not an IT function. Now, if you were trying to open up a specific file that was located on a network drive somewhere, and that would be my problem. But it's really not my problem if you can't do the basic functions that you're supposed to be able to do. <sighs> And by the way, I hope the person that I'm talking about isn't one of my subscribers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but even if you are listening, that's still, like, it's okay to not know. It's my job to know. And I don't want anybody to ever, like, I hear all the time on the telephone, people will call me and they, they'll say stuff like, well, I'm computer illiterate. Or I'm just dumb when it comes to this stuff. No, you're not. The, the reason my job exists, the reason that I am a computer programmer, I am help desk, I am IT, is because there is so much to learn about computers. I mean, what you're looking at right now, the device that you're on, there is so much to that little device, that, that computer, that laptop, that Chromebook, that PC, whatever, it is that you've got. I promise you, there is there is so much to learn. It would blow your mind. All of it relies on code. All of it relies on on instructions. 
and all of it has to be working correctly. <sighs> Sorry. My motivational speech and my complaining should, should quit soon, momentarily. <clears throat> I can always tell when um, my ADHD is starting to get away from me because I will go off on tangents just like that. Um, that's also a sign that I might be getting hangry. Hangry is when you are hungry and it's time for lunch. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You were just doing it. So this was kind of working. Like that. And then like sit in the car and grab them from underneath. Top speed, top speed, and launch. Launch, 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 launch. Launch, launch, launch. Please, please. Please, 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 mine, 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 is that working? It's working, it's working. Please, 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 please. Oh, it's going, it's going to go, it's going to go any second now. Any second, I might be stuck on a log once I'm done, but any second now. There we go, there, there almost, please. Yes, yes. Oh. Please. <laughs> it, it is working, I promise, it's working. Oh, 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 it got off sideways. There! What? What? Yay! Thank you everyone for watching this episode. I'm just kidding. I'm totally gonna keep going. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of How to Get Your Truck Unstuck. <laughs> Special hidden methods with code. See, there was a flip button on there. Just kidding. Alright. Back to exploring. Now that we've had... See, it's all part of the master plan. Let the server live on a little bit longer so it has time to spawn a larger spookwood tree. I'm just kidding. It's totally not part of the plan to fail three times. Four, four times. Four times? That was a fourth fail. So, fail. All right, uh, let's take a look around here. Round here! Sorry. <laughs> I hear these little ditties about songs in my head whenever I'm saying specific things. Like there's a song called Round Here and that just kind of popped into my head while I was sitting here driving, thinking to myself, Oh gosh! Thinking to myself. <laughs> Sorry. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of colitas rising up through the air. Sorry. Eagles, I think, right? Eagles? Is that eagles? Oh, man. I'll tell you what, it's not. It's not Spookwood. That's definitely not Spookwood. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head now. Thank you, Codes ADHD, for the glorious uh, song that is now stuck inside my head. We'll grab two of these and one of these. Okay, Bob? Okay. Thanks, Bob. Amber Axe for 1100. 
I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Bob. Dynamite for 220. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. One more, one more, Bob. Dynamite for 220. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. If you've never talked to Bob, you can have a full-on conversation. Hey, how in the world have you been? Long time no talk. Uh, who are you? I'm Bob, old 2006er. Haha, <laughs> legit, right? Uh, sure. Haha! <laughs> oh, man, Bob. You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. Alright, Bob. We'll talk to you later. Hehe, <laughs> okay. Alright. The journey for Spookwood continues. We find our hero over in the Savannah? Savannah? Sahara, Savannah. In the search for his quest. Wasn't somebody saying there's like a new car of some kind? Maybe that was a troll. Yeah, that's a troll. There we go. So if you don't know where to get the lights, the pumpkin lights, they're in furniture. Fan fancy, fancy furnishing. Oh, I forgot to check the little cove up here. I could have sworn I didn't see anything, but... Yeah, it's clear. <sighs> Alright. I can't see on top of that mountain. But we saw it on the way down, so... What about back there in the little cove? Hey, Marilee. Okay. Whoa. Had a hair falling out of place. Your hair's falling out, girl. No, it's not. It's not. I have full, luscious hair. It's beautiful. Of course, it does have a bunch of gel in it. Super spiky. We're at 32 minutes. Should I keep going? Yeah, we're going to keep going. Do at least one run around to see if it's there. Did we go back here? Oh, we did now. So, that's good. Nothing over there. Two dead trees, three dead trees. Four dead trees. Oh, that was rough. Just ran across the top of them. Okay. So, so I don't have to go on another run over to Bob's. We're going to set this right bah, there. We're going to take this one. Have it right there. Let's go. Whee! Doo -doo, doo -doo, oh. On. If I hit a tree, it should come back forward to me, right? That didn't work. That didn't work. Okay, I'm not. I'm not messing with that. I don't want to lose a TNT. Not when we were like this close. They're like, "Ah, oh, Bob, you sold me defaulty TNT." I'm like, hey, what? Um, the TNT, Bob. You sold it to me, and it disappeared on me. What did you do with it? I didn't do anything, Bob. Do you have warranty? No, it's TNT. Nobody brings back TNT. Woo. A woo. I think that rock just doesn't doesn't like blowing up for some reason. Alright, I don't see any trees over here. I don't see any trees over there. I don't see any trees anywhere. Well, I mean, I see normal trees, just not spook trees. Or a sinister wood. By the way, if you wanted to know what the yellow glow wood is, not the yellow fir trees, I'm talking about the black tree that when you cut it, it is bright orange. It's like a neon orange. That is a sinister tree. That is not a spook tree, that is a sinister tree. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, the short pines are actually fir trees. So that's a fir, fir, fir. This is fir, this is fir. The tall, oh, excuse me, tall, more squarish looking leaves, those are pines. This is a pine tree, all right? Pine tree, pine tree. Rectangular leaves, fir tree, fir tree. So this is how you can identify the different things. Oh, also, somebody was asking me, how did I get the console thingy to pull up? Press F9. There you go. Already bumping 
some button. Wait, what? What is this? Infinite yield possible player, wait for child. VR navigation, virtual reality. Already bumping some button. Already bumping this button. Hmm. What button? What button did I hit? Thank you for the subscribe. Who was that? Hello. For the win. I think the name was Latch. Which is a quaint name. Comes from traditional English. Latch. Just kidding. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> We're almost there. I know. I know. We're almost to the end of the episode. I promise. Mm. Everybody's like, Code, you didn't show us anything. You just ran around all day. Well, technically, I did show you something. I showed you how to not find a spookwood tree on private servers. So technically, you still learned something today. Which is a good thing. Learning every day. I don't see any spook trees at all. And it could spawn on any one of these surfaces, by the way. Nope. I'm gonna try and try and drive this up there. Oh no, it did not work. Oh no, I'm stuck! Oh I have never failed so much in my life. Actually, I pro I probably have failed plenty of times. But now I'm stuck and I can't get out. So this is not gonna work. Ugh. There we go. Okay. You know what? Failures are good. And I'm going to call this one. This one's this one is Code Primate Fails at Finding Spookwood or something like that. I don't know. Read the, read the title. You'll see. But it is it is frustrating for me. But at the same time, it is a video showing you exactly what happened, exactly how it happened, and all the good things that come with that. So if you wonder why I don't edit, first off, I don't have time. Second of all, you just got a full gameplay of exactly what happens. <gasps> That's amazing to me. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. Don't forget that there's a free Robux giveaway in the description. If you click on that giveaway link, you will be taken over to Glean.io. Sign up for that. If you'd like one of those awesome t-shirts, then check out the Hello Juniper link. And I do sell the Rookie Axes as toys. They're actual wood toys on sturdy guns. So check those out. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Oh, one, one, one last thing. Somebody asked, if you if they send me fan mail, will it get read on camera? Yes. All fan mail that gets sent to me, I will read on camera. I may not respond to them all inside letter formats, but I will, I will read them. If you write on there, please do not read on camera. I will respect that. So... There you go. And my P.O. box should be in the description or about somewhere. So, all right. That's all. Love you guys. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Outro.